Hello family and friends. I am going to do a little gourd vase with a Celtic cross on it. I downloaded this from um, an image from the internet and then I have carbon paper underneath and I'm just going to trace it and I'm going to take a look at my drilling bits and see if I have a small one because what I would like to do is be able to drill out these little lines and then paint colors inside of them I thought would be really pretty and I'd like to stain the outside of this green but we're gonna start by um, just out following the outline of this and getting it transferred onto the gourd so it's gonna take just a few minutes and I use the blue ink pen so I know what lines I have actually traced um, on the pattern. I think I've gotten all the lines. Now we get to see how well I've done. So I'm just going to take this tape off the top, take a peek, get one of the side ones undone too. I just use regular scotch tape to tape it onto the gourd to hold it in place. Looks like I got it. Okay, I'm gonna start by burning this pattern into this gourd. Okay, now that I've gotten it all carved, you can see it looks a little muddy in places from the burning, which is okay, because now I'm going to use my Formula 49 to clean the gourd. And I'm gonna clean the burning and the whole body of the gourd before I move on to painting. So I use these makeup puffs. I get them at the dollar store very inexpensive there. And all I'm going to do is clean it up, get rid of all that burn. You can see how much comes off. And it just makes it a little more defined, your design. Cleans the dirt off of the body, prepares it for accepting uh, paint. So see what a difference that made? It's now a more defined image. Got rid of that muddiness. So I'm just going to go along, clean the rest of the body off. 
And then I'm gonna to have to let it set and dry. It doesn't take very long, but, um, and I've changed my mind on what I originally thought I wanted to do. Look at, look at how much has come off that. Okay, now that it's dried, I'm going to put um, a classic green dye on it, and I'm going to use the same uh, makeup pads, and all I'm going to do is put a few dots on there, and then just start bringing the color in. going to keep wiping it till it's nice and light. I don't want this dark heavy green. I want to lighten it up. Just cover the whole gourd. I want the body of the gourd. I love the, the natural look and the different colors of how the gourd looks to come through. So I just want to make sure I get a nice coat of that green. Alright, so the paint's dry and you can see the burned outline of the Celtic cross, but it just doesn't pop. Every craft project I've done, I've always learned something new. And I think that's what I like about crafts, is you're always learning. There it is. I think it looks pretty nice. I still have a little bit of gold leafing that I think I need to go in and tidy up, but for the most part, I like it. And that gold just makes it pop. So, let me um, get a seal on it. I gotta let the paint dry, then I'll seal it. And um, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, it's a little too damp and cold outside for me to go out and do a finish on this. So I'm just going to finish it off here. And um, I'm semi-pleased with it. I think I could have probably done a better line or a better job keeping the lines real clean. But I think it looks really pretty. I love the the green and the natural of the board coming through it and then the bright gold Celtic cross. Anyhow, so that's my project for today and hope you all had a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. So until next time, make it a gorgeous day every day. Bye!